Well, graduates from Purdue's College of Technology celebrated as they received their diplomas today, but one graduate and his family are celebrating a little more than that. News 18 Samantha Tiki tells us about the Purdue graduate and the odds he's overcome. I just do what everybody else would do, so I don't really feel like I'm an inspiration. That as J.C. Russo prepares for a farewell speech at his graduation from Purdue, most people who know what it has taken him to get to this day would disagree, especially his dad. He's an inspiration to me every day, and he's been an inspiration to many others, and I've been told that as well by parents of other kids that have disabilities. J.C. was born with spinal muscular atrophy, which confines him to a wheelchair, but he doesn't let it keep him from doing what he wants. Being in a wheelchair for my, basically my whole life, um, I've had a lot of obstacles, but I just, you know, never give up. Just keep trying and, and just get it done. His motivation to succeed helped him to become a goalkeeper for the USA Power Soccer Team, playing in the first ever World Cup in Tokyo, Japan, and bringing home two world titles. He says the sport has taught him a lot. It's part of my horizons. Uh, I, I've met people all over the world. Um, I've become a better leader because of it. That experience, along with his positive attitude, may be a few of the reasons why J.C. was picked to give the student responder speech at his graduation from the Purdue School of Technology Sunday. He says it was an honor just to be nominated. Of all the people graduating today, it's, it's amazing that I was the one that they chose to give the speech. What's even more amazing is J.C.'s ability to inspire others. And just the aspect of working on a team with other people, that wouldn't have been able to experience otherwise because there's not really any other sport for power wheelchair users. You're only uh, limited by what you believe you can do, so uh, do, do what you want to do and don't let anything hold you back. Just keep trying. Reporting in West Lafayette, Samantha Tiki, News 18.